by God's grace in today's video, I want to talk about diabetes. Why I am interested in this is that, by God's grace, I have been marketing health products for over the years, like over 20 years. And one of the serious health challenge that I've seen people have, that's the highest number of people that have patronized me, are actually diabetic Patient. So I find out that this thing is too rampant, that something will be to be done. In fact, it's difficult for you to pass through any household that you see, let me say, one to five elderly people, you will not see one or two suffering from diabetes. So that is why it is paramount that I talk about it today, so that you will know also natural way you can prevent it as well as a kind of cure yourself from it. By God's grace, my name is Jennifer and in this channel, I treat health, safety, and spirituality with this conclusion that it's actually these three variables that make wealth. That unlike the old saying that health is wealth, that with the realities of what is happening in our present world, we cannot just conclude that health is wealth, but when you are healthy, with your being saved, there is something missing. Therefore, you must be acquainted with health and also acquainted with safety as well as spirituality so that you will be able to live a successful, wealthy life. If this is the very first time you are landing in my channel and any of this topic pleases you, why not subscribe? And also don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first to know. And also, you are my returning subscriber. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. You are highly welcome once again. By God's grace, I will start from exactly what diabetes is all about. You know, when we talk of diabetes, it's a serious medical condition in which the body cannot produce or use insulin, then causing dangerously high level of sugar in the blood. You know that the pancreas is actually the hormone that a kind of process sugar in the body that makes sure that excess sugar is excreted or turned into other forms of energy that the body uses. Now, when the pancreas is damaged, the body will no longer process sugar and automatically an individual becomes diabetic. Sometimes some people's pancreas don't even produce insulin at all. In fact, they, there is a kind of a part in, in pancreas that is called eyesless of Langerhan, eyesless of Langerhan. Once this eyesless of Langerhan is damaged, automatically an individual will no longer process sugar and it becomes diabetic. This uh, uh, pancreas is a kind of hormone. You know, hormone is secretions of ductless and endocrine gland. By God's grace, during my secondary school days, I was very, very good at biology. So I know some of these things very well. Apart from the fact that I have been marketing a kind of product, I've been going through seminars. So people who have diabetes, either their own pancreas have damaged or that they don't produce at all. And in that case, they will need to be injected with artificial insulin in form of injection, intravenous injection, so that they, it will not be sustaining the helping them to process sugar. Sometimes they may be giving it in the morning, giving it in the night, depending on the seriousness of the diabetic conditions. And again, you will also find out that diabetics have type 1 and also type 2. In type 1, it's usually diagnosed in the life of adults and a kind of young children. And then, though the percentage that suffers it is very relatively small, like 5 to 10 percent. So people with these forms of diabetes, you discover that most of the time they don't even produce insulin at all. And then, maybe as a result of it is in their gene, it is a kind of inheritance. They inherited it from their parents. Then when we talk of type 2 diabetes, it is the most common form of a diabetes because either the body is not producing insulin or the cells ignore insulin. Most of the times it's elderly people because when people are getting old, their cells are also getting weak. Their body, their hormone, every of their system. As a result, maybe the body has been weakened. The cells have been weakened. The hormone, one of the hormone that, hormone that is weakened may now be the pancreas and as a result they stop producing insulin and also we have another type we call gestational diabetes this occurs during pregnancy it's not as if the people are diabetic but because of the pressure of pregnancy then you will now discover that the person now become diabetic before 
giving birth once he's uh, pregnant. But most of the times, if these people follow doctor's advice, because doctors will always place you on diet and direct you on what to do, they will say, see that at the end of giving birth, the diabetes will no longer be there. And their children will even be healthy. And then, often, diabetes is not diagnosed because so many of the symptoms are harmless. You may not even notice it. But early dictation and when the complications are obvious, it is easily what treated. Some of the symptoms may be unusual tests. You will always want to a kind of drink water, then extreme hunger, then unusual weight loss, then extreme fatigue, state of being excessively tired, because the excess sugar that should have been converted to energy for the body to use is no longer converted. Type, type 2 diabetes will also see symptoms of like frequent infections. The person will always have infection. When you get after treating it, the infection reoccur again. Blood vision, blood. That's when you are looking at maybe reading something or you are looking at somebody, your vision as if something is covering your eyes, you are not seeing clearly. And then again, when that person has any wound in the body, cut or bruises, it will not easily go. So this is always obvious. So hunger and test, excessive a kind of urine, then the person sometimes look pale. That's somebody that is weak. Then general body weakness. So these are some of the things that diabetic patients actually a kind of suffer. So the first question is, is there any hope? Is there any way they can actually get rid of this uh, condition? Yes, I'm going to be talking about the natural way that this diabetes can be taken care of. And then in this natural way, there are certain a kind of leaves. Remember in Revelation 22 verse 2, the Bible actually said that the leaves is for the healing of the nation. So just as I'm saying, that most of the things that God created have serious health benefit as well as spiritual benefit. And also their seed is also equally powerful. So the first thing that you needed for diabetes to be cured is enough quantity of a scent leaf. This is scent leaf. As the, the, you see the paper, I've talked about it before when I was talking about leaves. See scent leaf. And even talking about detoxification. And then another thing you'll be needing is neem leaf. This, please recognize this leaf very well. Neem. You can just google it. I think it should be N E E M S. Neem leaves. Neem leaves. When you google it, you can find it out very well and know where to get it. Then again, we have Kareka papaya leaf. That's Popo leaf. I believe every one of us knows Popo. The, the leaves of Popo. It's also very, very important. And then bitter cola. Let's say you measure them by gram. Then you need to get scent leaf 50 gram. And then you get neem leaf like 100 gram. So you just use your sense to know what I mean. Then you get something like bitter cola. I've shown bitter cola several in this channel to like 20 pieces. So, and then you also get that karika papaya leaf like a kind of 100 gram too so when you get them you now squeeze it you pound that bitter cola very well into powder then you now a kind of put enough water and squeeze these leaves that's after you have washed it with salt now so that to avoid any form of death or impurity you now squeeze it very well then after squeezing it you pour enough water let me say like two liters of water to bring out all the water that's all that all the greenish part that you have squeezed and then you now a kind of uh, get two liters of water and then pour in it then after you pour it you sieve that water out then when you sieve that water out you begin to drink it three times a day three uh, one glass in the morning one glass in the afternoon one glass in the night for adult but if the person is around that kind 12 years just half a glass if the person is maybe the person is suffering from gestational diabetes is three years please below just use 10 mil that small plastic cover that they used to give children drug you get 10 mil and be given to the child three times but please when you are using this particular mixture if you have a kind of chemical drug you are taking you don't need to miss it it's just like taking a local drug is the same thing so you don't need to you can keep that one aside and wash yourself like at least one week and measure and go and check your a kind of blood sugar how you are reacting then if it is 
improving your health very well. Your sugar is going down. You continue with it. But if you are not seeing any improvement, maybe you continue with your chemical drop. But this is actually one the best treatment because these are the natural things that God has provided for us. You know one thing with chemical drops, they will actually help you, but they have side effects. Of course, we know it. And then, apart from this, there is another way for people that may find it very clumsy, weak, and don't want to pass through squeezing of this or may not even get it in the allocation by god's grace i sell product that is called stem cell which i combine with a kind of some product from malaysia i combine certain products together and give people and by god's grace this one give you permanent cure because it will help to repair the pa damaged pancreas and then the person will no longer be diabetic the only thing is that it's a bit costly a good thing i'm on a but one assurance is that when you take it over the time, you will actually get results. Because I will not just say tell you this is the normal dosage. The dosage is dependent upon how long and then the person has suffered that diabetes. Like somebody who has been diabetic for 10 years, believe me, a lot of things have damaged more than the person that has suffered two years. So that person may just take one more therapy and be perfect. But somebody who has suffered diabetes for over like 10 years, the person may take up to three, four months. And then, but one assurance is by God's grace, you'll be off diabetic medicine because your pancreas will repair naturally and you'll begin to taste sugar in your body and you will be free. So by God's grace, I've actually come to the end of this video. If you find it helpful, why not give it a thumbs up? Please don't forget to share it to everyone. You may be saving a lot of people. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. So see your lady Jennifer saying bye. Thank you once again for being part of my channel today. God bless you.